Hey there mamas! Today we're going to be doing a flip style diaper cover. It's really just a dual pocket diaper cover with a section at the front and the back to tuck in an insert or a tri-folded pre-fold um, or tuck in your fitted if you don't want it to be worn, you know, attached. It's going to have the two little pocket pieces and then the main body and then today I'm also going to be doing the elemental style soaker which has a tutorial for that on my blog and it has a little you know, sewn in insert that makes it into an all in one. You can use this as a cover without the insert sewn in, or you can make it into an all in one. Um, one thing I do like is if you're using it as just a cover is to get some of the thin, like half inch fold over elastic, like I used in the masks and just kind of add that to your edge pocket pieces and just do a little tiny bit of gathering and that'll help hold in your insert better. Since I'm doing it with the elemental absorbency added, I'm not going to be doing that. But that's just something that you would do along with your prepping. You would add your snaps to the base and you would add a little strip of fold over elastic, just pulled it a tiny bit so that maybe it's three quarters the length that it was without it. So that it's easy still to pull out and so on, but that it'll gather in just a little bit more than it would without it so that it holds in that insert a little bit. And you'd probably want to pull it a little tighter at the back piece than the front piece because the back piece they'll be the back elastic and then the front piece it'll just lay flat so you know maybe I'll do something separate for that later on but it's kind of just a modification on this pattern it's not necessary it just it just makes it a little bit nicer a little bit more finished looking but today we're just going to be doing it with the elemental style soaker <laughs> we're just going to take our body piece and we're going to fold over the edges here where it's notched in we're going to fold it over not just to there, not just that much, but in also to the seam allowance so that you have enough room to make yourself an elastic casing. And because it's a smaller distance on the outside of this than the inside, you are going to have to stretch it a little bit as you fold it. And it'll pucker in a little bit while you're sewing it. Just go really slow and, you know, make sure that you're using your ballpoint or Microtex needle and your 100% polyester thread. And it should be, you know, even if it doesn't look perfect, it should still work. So now you have both of your elastic casing channels sewn and you can see how I went pretty close to the edge there. There's a little bit of a distance, but it's pretty close. And that'll take a little bit of getting used to, but it can be a little further away than that and still be fine for 3 8 inch elastic. Mine will have, you know, plenty of room. If it becomes a problem for you getting close enough, you can either use a smaller size elastic or you can add a little bit of extra onto your pattern right there and then just trim it off later. But this, this amount should be appropriate for most of the uses. So at this point, we're going to be taking our front and back flat pieces. And if you're going to be using it as cover, it would be a nice time to have added on that fold over elastic, but you can use it without. And you're going to be putting them face in, just like with any turn to diaper. And do them face to face. And you'll want to clip them together since you don't want to pin them because it's cover and you don't want it to be, to lose any of this waterproofing. And you're just going to take it and fold this edge back out again, just a little bit. And since you're going to be sewing against the pull, you're going to want to go really slow, especially if you have a stickier pull. And just sew all the way around, one side to the other, making sure not to close up that turning hole. You can just go right up to where that hole is, but don't go over it. You can always so again, at the top here, when we sew down our elastics, so probably go about a half inch from the end on each of these sides. And then we're going to do the same thing to the front.
now we've got our flaps sewn to our body and we're just gonna turn that in So you've got it turned and the last thing we're going to do before we add our elastic is make our casing at the back. So it helps to press it really flat and then take some clips and hold that seam even. Because if it's a thicker pull like this is, it'll try to un uncurl and you can't do things like iron and stuff with pull. So just clip it every so often, make sure that it stays even. how you've got all your elastic casing sewn and you're gonna close this up with your top stitching. And now you're just gonna feed your elastics. And don't make it too, too tight across the back, leave it fairly loose. You want these covers to fit for a while, so if they're too tight, they won't fit as long. Normally this would be the point that if it was just a cover, you would just do your top stitching. But since I'm doing the added in soaker, I'm gonna turn it back inside out and you can use your serger or your sewing machine and take your soaker. And so I'm doing mine with a doubler down the middle. And you set your doubler where you want it on your main body. So this kind of ends up being the same thing as a pedal style soaker. We've got four layers through the middle and just like two layers on the outside. You could do it three and three and then have it be a heavier, heavier duty diaper. You could use more layers of a thinner fabric, but this is just the way that I've done it. I like keeping it thinner on the outside. It helps when you're changing the sizes, like when you're gonna fold it for a, a newborn, it would end up being like this. When you're doing it for one size bigger, you do, you know, kind of fold it like that. It ends up being not too bulky at the top and back. So it's a good way to do that. I'm not sure how theirs are. I think it was something similar to this. Then you're going to take your bigger side with your back here. And you're going to sew it so that when it flips over, this ends up being on the inside. So it would end up being this way. And then when you sew it together, like this, then when it flips, it'll have the right side up. So basically you're doing faces to each other again. Just do faces to faces. You can clip it in place and try to get it fairly centered. I personally would rather keep this as a cover and then, you know, swap out in inserts or prefolds or something in the inside. It's just more useful to me that way, but I know that plenty of people like this style. They're easy wash, easy dry. You could also take old elementals, seam pop them and turn them back into covers. So if you wanted to start using it this way and then you decided you didn't like it, you could just take the soaker right out of it and turn it back into a cover again.
So now you've got it sewn on to both sides, and you're just gonna flip it so that it's right side in. And you're gonna push those wings back out. You can get a good feel for how the finished diaper looks at this point. If you wanted to, you could go in and top stitch this down flat as well, but it's not necessary, it's on the inside. It's also a little bit tricky to get in there, but you can totally do it. If you wanna see how to do it, I'll do that right now. One way is to take off the bottom so that you can kind of work above and below. And just kind of press it flat. So then that's what that looks, I kind of messed up right there, but that's what that looks like top stitch down. So it lay a little flatter. So now you've got that side top stitch as well. So now you're just gonna set it up for your top stitching and when you do that, these edges that are unfinished, you're just gonna tuck in and line them up. And they should come right down to where your elastic casing channel is. And just clip that in the meantime until you're ready to sew. And then clip around, you know, make it lay nice and flat and nice and rounded wherever you want the seams and the curves to be. You can use any pattern for this, just modify it with the elastic casings down the side. So if there's another pattern that you like the fit of better for a cover, you can change it up the same way. Just use my template as a guide for how to change it, not, not for the shape itself if you don't like it. Now we have the whole thing clipped so that it's nice and flat and easy to top stitch. And we're just going to top stitch around the front, sticking very close to the edge, especially with how the snaps are here. So now you've got all your top stitching done and you're just gonna add your ring snaps. So when you're adjusting the rise on this style diaper or cover, you just fold for the smallest setting, the bottom snaps in the front up to the top. When you do the inside, you can then tuck that absorbency up into it more, or you can do it at the back more, depending on where the baby needs more coverage. And this is styled after the flip diapers, which don't fit super small. They're not gonna fit a newborn. Some other OS patterns will fit smaller. This one probably is about 10 to 12 pounds, probably 12 pounds really and up. It's not, it's not a super small fitter. You can see that the leg holes aren't super small. The rise isn't super small. It's not a true one size. It's like a small to large, not a extra small. To large. But it's a decent style. It's got good coverage, especially if used as a, as a cover and not as an all-in-one. This is a really easy way to just turn a cover into an all-in-one. So there's your flip or elemental style diaper. Happy sewing.